However, though, we do have one final topic for the evening, and it is a non-boxing you know, topic. However, it's a t- topic that we all, well, PJ didn't watch this, unfortunately, you know, but that's all right. He will. I played the games. <laughs> I already know what it's like. Of course. I have the most recent game, too. <laughs> yes, you know, because, you know, we are talking about uh, Mortal Kombat legend Scorpio's Revenge. Scorpion's Revenge, excuse me. I was going to say, yo. I was just saying. Like, damn, this nigga remixed the hell out of the damn shit. <laughs> we are not going to let you yeah, let that slip. The the Dollar Tree uh, low fat clucking uh, <laughs> <laughs> the canned whole roasted chicken like <laughs> you, instead of the McDonald's you gave the damn McDowell's <laughs> Ooh, McDowell's there we go <laughs> you know I am here Mortal Kim Mortal Kim bit uh, Legends uh, Scorpio's Revenge <laughs> Revenga. <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> oh man, you got fool. But this, <laughs> I, I believe this is like the first adult animated uh, cartoon from the franchise, if I'm not mistaken. Because yes, it is. Was that? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah so the other shit was like some uh, computer graphics shit that came out years ago when the first Mortal Kombat game came out. I think it's called the New Journey. Like it's an old, old. I seen it. My, my pop said. Yeah, nah. Movie. The original movie, the, the original MK movies were ash, fucking booty juice. Nah, first, the first. No, 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 first one was no. The first one was no. The first one was dope. The second one was just. Yeah, the second one they just threw everything at it. Like, so you only really got like three, three movies to go from. Like, unless you saw like Defenders of Earth on that weird cartoon series. Oh, the, the one that was on USA? Yeah. The one that yeah, was pretty much Power Rangers. Yo, I pretty much... Don't, I don't even remember that one. That's why... That's uh, that. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. There was, there was two Mortal Kombat shows. There was the cartoon on USA, but then there was another one that used to come on e, uh, UPN, but it was like a, a live action show. I'm talking about the cartoon, where Nightfall was apparently the computer guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the animation looked like uh, X Men Academy or some shit. Yeah, there was no blood or guts anywhere. Just robots. Yeah, they used to come on before that damn horrendous version of Street Fighter, uh-huh. which I do remember and I don't want to remember. Oh, that's your yeah. I like yes. to pre- yeah. I like yes. to pretend that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, so cool. let's pretend that doesn't exist. <laughs> so, too know. many memes out there, man. It's too late. So you yeah, had, you've had some Mortal Kombat related stuff in the you know different types of media besides the game, but yeah, the only thing that was ever really done. Oh, and in, in the series that was on the internet, I think Michael J. White was in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. the live so action that was, that was on YouTube. Yeah, those were the shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah the little shorts. Yeah, but it was, uh, called in the first Mortal, movie. It was called Mortal Kombat Legacy, I think. Legacy, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like Mortal Kombat Legacy and the the first movie although yeah. the upn show wasn't bad like they had like yeah. some good little fights in there but other than that like they like it, it's it's like that nas it's like that jay-z line like one hot album every 10 year average <laughs> so that, that's what they... mortal Kombat was looking like outside of the game yeah but, they just kept throwing at a dartboard <laughs> but, then, yo, this <laughs> time they got that shit fucking right yeah, this one I didn't even know it was coming. At. All I know is like I was just browsing this uh, certain site, which I won't name because it's you know it's outside <laughs> of the jurisdiction. And I came across this, and I'm like, what the hell is this? You know. And then I read some reviews on it. People were people were like going crazy over it. I'm like, oh, and I think um, Rotten Tomatoes had it at 100. percent Now I don't really hold too much stock out Rotten Tomatoes, you know, but the fact that it had it 100 percent had me curious. So I. Procured. Fuck, rotten, fuck rotten tomatoes. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like I don't even check them for for anything. I only get it for the initial reactions, and after that, it's just like whatever. Yeah, okay, it's, 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 nah, nah. The mo- half the motherfuckers be trolling. 
Like, yeah, they do. That and, and and who? How you create their ability? That's like if you had all the bad judges, that all the CJ Rosses, all the fucking Adelaide Birds, <laughs> and, and the Julie Letterman's. If, if they decided to click up, create one website where they gave their opinion on fights. Right, tomatoes. Do you know boxing. how entertaining that? <laughs> do you know how entertaining that website would be? Because how yeah, many laughs you get out of that? Fuck. Uh, one of you career executive niggas that be listening to this shit, y'all, y'all hit us up. <laughs> anyway, going back to it. So after Pat found his destination and he started to sail in that direction. Yes, you know, I, you know, I loaded up on my Plex server. Yeah, I told LB about this and he was like, you know, rolling his eyes at me and stuff like that because I didn't use a certain other streaming site, you know, you know, which I was, com. Whoa, 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 be quiet, you know, don't be, don't be snitching out here, bro. What's wrong with you? I know. You know, out here from the undisclosed location, you forget it's snitching. I just gave a continent. I didn't really actually give you a country. I just gave you a continent. Damn Canadians. It's like saying it's a day that's, that ends with Y. See, it's a snitching, you know, almost, it's not just dry snitching. You know, they got algorithms that can figure shit out now. <laughs> Oh, that's what he meant. That'd be amazing. <laughs> keyboard. Ta, 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 ta. <laughs> Computer's putin. Computer's putin. <laughs> oh my god. Two people on the same keyboard. <laughs> so they can hack faster. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, no, this movie, like when I first said, like they weren't fucking around. Like the movie itself, I mean, it stays with the Mortal Kombat story timeline. Like if you played the game, you know, you know how the story goes, but it was just refreshing just to see within probably about five minutes, it, it turned to all. It was chaos. It was just a chaos of violence. Like the animation was, the animation was just lovely. Like it was just like it was graphic. It was raw. Like they were they weren't fucking around. Like that. Like the first twenty minutes was just like oh shit. Like you saw like you know, I mean this is gonna be some spoilers. Yeah, you see Scorpion in his human form. You know, tearing some shit up. You know, you know, he was not fucking around. He was fucking, you know, you know, fuck, fucking up all types of Sub Zero and his uh, and his ninja clan or whatever. And then Sub Zero, of course, kills his son and eventually kills, you know, kills Scorpion. And then you know he's sent to hell or the Nether Realm, we really want to call it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you FYI, mean we're talking yeah. boxing and beaches? Yeah. FYI. <laughs> The name of the, the ninja is just the, it's the Lin Kuei tribe. Okay, I thought it was alone who was who knew that reference. Okay, I'm not alone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then of course, you know, they went to the whole thing, you know, Scorpion, you know, was decapitating all types of demons and you know, he meets up with Quan Chi, you know, was like, Yes, you know, I can send you back, you know, I can give you back your family, you know, if you Enter this tournament and you win this, and it and then slowly yeah, and then it's got whispering raw. sweet nothings into this nigga ear, hyping him up, like yeah, yeah, you can do this. You know, I sign you to the label. You know, I put <laughs> you back on earth. I mean, you see that one nigga that was beefing with you, like you could get at him, like you know, I'll back you up, all that type of shit. You know, if oh, you is know, he talking to Shook Knight? <laughs> well, you know, Quan Chi a bitch ass nigga, so yeah, yeah, dude, I'll tell you, yeah exactly. You know, yeah, if you know, you like know, the entire story for Quan Chi, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah you just not gonna just you know do some G shit for dude and, and he not you know sell you a dream, like you're like a fucking boxing promoter, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you a title fight, yeah, I'll get you that. You won't have to travel, <laughs> yeah, you'll be the A sign. <laughs> you don't need to leave your basement. <laughs> like you fighting in some fucking damn jungle in the middle of Indonesia with no running water, no locker room type shit. Hey, some crazy fights can come from there. As the fucking seaside. <laughs> ah, Zed side. Yeah, you're not even the B side if you want some shit like that, nigga. Are you even in the alphabet? If your locker room is a tent outside, you're not in, you're, you're promoted, uh, uh, he lets you down. <laughs> if you see Roman numerals, something's up. So, so you know, that's the type of shit Scorpion had to deal with with, with quarantine. So, uh, let's just uh, add something real quick here. Because uh, if people do know a bit of uh, Mortal Kombat, this is like a movie where Scorpion's the main character. 
not Liu Kang. So it focuses on one guy who pretty much is the main character if you know about the entire like, right but in this but, movie but they kind of gave you the main story but kind of like with scorpion as the focal point but i felt like he still wasn't like a st- like he was a star but everybody had like, everyone equal shine. Shine. oh i'm also just talking about in terms of like the company as a whole like when you look oh, at yeah, everything yeah. that's related to mortal Definitely. kombat the first person you almost always see is scorpion because yeah. like the head guy, he says his his favorite character is Scorpion. Yeah, of course. I mean, it, it works. It, it definitely works. Like shit, I felt like Sonya Blade was damn like whoever was making the movie must love that must have been his favorite character too. Because yes, yes, Sonya was te- Sonya was tearing up some shit in that movie. Johnny Cage yeah. though, the way they portrayed him though was funny to me because this motherfucker was just like not fucking believing that this nigga, nigga thought he was shooting a movie. You know, yeah, that's his character. Movie. Yeah, exactly. Even though he had all types of niggas that was, that was actually trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah, like I almost thought that like they was having Sonya Blade bitch him up a little too much, but they kind of I guess righted it at the end. So I was like, oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. especially yeah. like if you know about all the games to like the most recent one. Yeah, no, and then I mean, I'll say the part in the movie. I mean, although yes, it happens in the video game too, but I still got pissed at seeing Jax getting beat up by Goro like he did, and then, oh, and, then and again, his arms ripped off. I hated that part. Yeah, yeah, I did too. I was just like, come on, and and you say Goro, like I mean, I mean, don't we, I mean, in every other thing, you know, Goro seems like he's a, he's a, he's a strong idiot, you know. But uh, no, Goro was actually pretty thorough in this movie, like you know how he was. How he how he was moving. This wasn't no 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 big turd with four arms like. No, yeah. they they made him better in the story later on. Yeah, and and they and they did and they did him justice in this movie too. Like the same thing with Kano, like you know. Yo, was Kano was kind of raw in this movie too. Always escaping and launching attacks and shit. So it's like the renditions of all the characters are on point. Like, yeah, Ra- Raiden was able to flex his abilities. Um, mm-hmm. you know, basically, the people who wrote it all they knew what they were working with. They were just like, okay, this is the material we got. Let's just make it work to the best that we can, and then obviously put our own spin to it. Yeah, it's funny to how Damn, look at you acting like you've seen the movie too. Like, <laughs> I play the entire series. Yeah, no, I mean, you, you you have to see the movie, though. Yeah, you got the movie to a whole different bag, son. Like, Don't worry, I'll I'll talk to my first mate and we'll start sailing in the direction that Pat went. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, like, it's so, like, it's so bloody. Like, I'm trying to think, like, what can I compare it? Like, like as far as the, like, they had, like, the fat- they, they see the fatalities animated, like. Yeah, like, you know, like, like you're doing the video games. Like, you can see, like, you, get, you got the x-ray shot of, like, you know what you know when the weapon is going through their heads like what yeah, what yeah. bone is getting broken broke off <laughs> you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was a nice touch man like yeah i've seen like little clips and then some trailers and other people who just like oh let me put this clip let me put this clip so i've seen bits and pieces yeah and no. the pacing of the movie is great like it, it never feels like it's a dull moment like it just keeps it keeps going it keeps getting more badass and more badass like yeah and, and from what you get at the beginning you don't think it's gonna get better oh you mean the, the father-son moment yeah the father-son Dad and the damn scorpion going ape shit on everybody <laughs> yeah the funny thing is too is i i put that in my in my ig story and i, I think most people didn't know this movie was even coming out like i had six dudes like six, six of my friends like he was like yo yo pat Will, which, what movie is this where'd you get this from like I, I was putting people onto this, so I was like, it's, it's, "Like this came out of nowhere because I, I didn't see no commercials on this damn movie anywhere." Nah, it's just chilling on the sites because I seen it when I had went and seen um, Superman: The Red Sun, and that was, was on the that site was good. then. And so I was like, "Damn!" Like I ain't, you know, I, I heard the Superman shit was dope, but I ain't hear nothing about the Scorpion shit. So yeah, pass. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was the one that told LB. I was like, I told because I was because I was texting. And I was watching. I was like, Yo, this. I was like, Tell me, Yo, this shit went hard. This shit's going too hard right now. I told him, to, You know, he needed to get on this. Yo, this. Yeah, you know, I just said, Fuck it. I'm gonna see it the next day. I was like, Oh shit! Like, go and find. Yeah, no, yeah. The ending too. Like, I think it's probably the the kill of the movie for me was Goro getting killed. Like that shit came out of nowhere because Goro was about to 
you know, rip Luke King the shreds, man. Like, yeah, this nigga ready to rip the rip them arms off. And all of a sudden, you see Scorpion spear go right through his forehead, and then you see Scorpion rip that shit out, rip the skull out from the you know, and all that's left is just the skin. Like, I was just like, damn. I was like, you know, I did not expect that shit. A whole bunch of good fights. Like, um, I, if I was to say like my favorite fight, it has to be um. I don't know that Scorpion Quan Chi fight was dope as fuck. Yeah, it was because you know this is where this is where I, I think I told everybody like this uh, damn the Quan Chi's a bitch ass nigga man. <laughs> this is like I was moving. I, I, I was. Tony I, Blade and Reptile was was dope too. Yeah, Reptile was dope. Yeah, uh, surprised that Katana didn't do much in this movie, but I mean, who knows? Maybe um, in the sequel that she may do some more. You know, she may actually play more of a part in this movie, but. You know, I think, I think she was the only character that didn't really shine in this movie. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah, after that fight, you know, it was just like, you know, you know, I thought, oh shit, you know, Shang Tsung was trying to, you know, try to do some little treachery type of shit, and then Raiden was trying to electrocute his ass. <laughs> you know, yeah, Ray, Raiden had niggas and checked that whole movie. Like, hold on, can I be doing this? Like, and that's yeah, like, like that yeah. good manager at your job that you know <laughs> he makes sure no one else fuck you over. Like, yeah, like, like, sure he didn't handle this. Like, no, wait, 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 wait. Look, look at this. Like, I guess I'll only ask this for you said when Raiden did his bit. If you guys remember from the old Mortal Kombat, does Raiden make the same sound effects he did in the original game? Yeah. Doing any of his moves? Ah, nah. Like saying yeah, gibberish. Oh, the bicycle kick. Yeah, he, 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 he executed that. Yeah, no, Raiden. Raiden only had one complete fight, and that was in the beginning. That's what. That's when he. That's when he's because he sneaked attacked uh, Liu Kang in that temple or whatever. Okay. And I did that. He just kind of flexed his powers on any, anyone. Like. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he was like, "Good, you're like." He, he was like, "Good, he, you know, he's good. You're ready, you know, that type of shit." Because he attacked that nigga in the dark. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know. I was just gonna be like, was Cosby there too? <laughs> but honestly, he did. He did attack him in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was training, like you know, oh, guy like right into the rape dude or something. <laughs> I don't think uh, Liu Kang was that kind of disciple. <laughs> the booty disciple. <laughs> <laughs> I like you and I want you. Yo, y'all stupid, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Raiden doing the damn Russian. Uh, what, what's that shit? He go, woo, 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 woo. he rush forwards. To, he flies at you. <laughs> yeah, like fucking like an M Bison spear. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho Crusher. <laughs> oh man. You know, but then also too, like they definitely, like I mean, they definitely built up the, you know, for a, for a sequel too, because in the end you you get you know Shang Tsung, you know, gets you know he clearly get you know getting his ass whooped by Shao Kahn, you know, and he's like Shao Kahn was like, nah, fuck this shit, you know, I ain't gonna lose, I ain't gonna lose no that goddamn tournament, I want this Earth realm, nigga, so we're gonna take this. I'm like, oh shit, he got this shit ready, you know. Uh, okay. And so they, I could definitely see a, 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 a part two, and maybe m- maybe Scorpion could still be the uh, the focal point, or they could have it someone else. But uh, that's is the that's is is, is Sub Zero in the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah Sub Zero like no, which, like uh, revenge and no Sub. No, I mean uh, there's two of them. So which one is it? The second one? See, that's why you got to see the movie. You thinking too much into the game? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sub Zero is in the movie. Okay. Uh, and he and he is a point. And he, you know, he does have several moments in that movie. But he oh, okay. I was I, in the damn movie. I have an idea which one you're talking about. No, you don't. <laughs> I told you, I'm gonna talk to my first mate. We'll start sailing. Don't worry. <laughs> you know, but yeah, no. This it, this was an outstanding animated movie, and. I know to me now, because I know they've been shooting the film for a live action reboot that's supposed to come out either this year or maybe early next year. Oh, um, God. Yeah, but it's for it was, the right people, right directors. You could make a dope Mortal Kombat movie. Like, Actually, know, I think they, they've like, been listing people already. Like yeah, the guy yeah. from uh, The Night Comes for Us, uh, the main guy, it's, he's it's, the Sub Zero. 
Yeah, it's filming. Like that's the thing right now. It's it, it's in post production right now. It's done shooting. Like yeah, I mean they have people in there. Like yeah, they have the the cat that from um, the Ray movies. He's Sub Zero yeah. in this shit. In that shit. Um, there's a and I, I, that's I know that's the most high profile. And there's a whole bunch of other cats in there too. Like I know. Get, like they get they got the cat who played the villain in Rush Hour Three as Scorpion. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, no, then yeah, they're not fucking around. I'm like, I, I'm like, I'm down with this. Yeah, it's supposed to come out in uh, January 15th, 2021. So I'm like, and this, and it's supposed to be like rated. Okay. Cause shit, even even the first one, which was I think PG 13, was still a classic to me. Like, yeah, because that, yeah, that's because that's when they actually, they a they stuck to the story of the of the movie yeah. and and they added the fights and it's just like you know and and it worked too. Mm-hmm. And that was a gamble because you know we'd already we endured Street Fighter and Super Mario Brothers. Oh my and, god! And, and even worse, Double Dragon. <laughs> oh, geez. I forgot about that movie. Yeah, Double Dragon only had one good moment, and that was um, seeing old girl's butt as she went into that sewer. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's the only thing I remember from that fucking movie, bro. Yeah. So trash. Yeah, I yeah. just remember the title of the movie. <laughs> the cartoon is better than the damn movie. <laughs> yeah, no, that yeah, that movie kind of hurt my heart because I like Double Dragon was a classic, was a classic video game, still is a classic video game. But the and cartoon then, series, like LB said, yeah, that one. Oh my god, that one's the best. Yeah, like the in the live action Mario Brother, I I forget, I watch that shit. Oh lord, that was. Tr- but I heard that that movie was a bitch to damn film. Like it was just it was so much drama. The damn uh, the director couple was damn beefing with the producers. Scenes had to be shot. I heard that shit was a nightmare. What's his name? John Leguizamo was getting drunk with um with the bad guy in the film. Like it, it was just fucking yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. The actor who played him though. Um, oh. I don't know. Yeah, I yeah I haven't watched that shit in well since because the last one I watched it on pay per view on my illegal cable box in the basement, and me and my bro both thought it was trash. It was like this is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Yeah, and I was just like, and that was the start where Pat was saying, "Let's go to the seas of the internet." <laughs> no, like Mortal Kombat was a risk. Honestly, if Mortal Kombat failed, we probably would never get. We probably wouldn't. We would have not got any more video game movies. So we, we think Mortal Kombat for actually right To be fair, after Mortal Kombat, there wasn't really any good video game movie after that. Yeah, because everybody just let Mortal Kombat live. Like, exactly. like once something finally got done right, people just stepped back and said, okay, you know what? Let's chill. Let's enjoy this. It, it, they were just like, let's not time. make improvements. Let's just keep, like, you know, yeah. doing the bare minimum every single time. It wasn't Shout like, out to Dragon Ball. It wasn't like this era now where... If you do something that's successful, you got to rape and pillage it and, and exploit the fuck out of it right away. Like, you know, you get hangover, then these niggas shoving hangover two and three down your neck. Right, Super Bowl yeah. doesn't exist in this timeline. What's that? This is German director who made a bunch of terrible video game movies, like a string of them. Oh, I thought we haven't heard of him. <laughs> it's it's better you don't, but he did do something that was really funny because like everyone kept like shitting on him. So he he decided, LB, you're gonna get a kick out of this. He challenged people to go and go into the ring with him, like you know, to do like boxing matches. So some of the reviewers did, and they got their ass kicked. But there was one guy who was willing to do it, and that director refused to because he found out this dude actually fought before. <laughs> and the dude was just like, "I'm down." He's just like, "I've done both boxing and Muay Thai. Let's do it." The director never responded back to him ever since. Like to this day, the guy still says like I'm still down to do it. Director still refuses to say anything. Because I think I think Resident Evil was the next. Yeah, Resident Evil, Evil was, yeah. and, Re- and those Resident Evil movies were tough. I I, I fuck with those. Yeah, like you you had you had a couple that were trash, but then but for the majority it was dope though. Right, and save for the uh, part of the cast, but I will send it to you guys as a link uh, in the chat. Oh, this guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, yeah, I know who it is. There, there was one movie I, of his I did like, like, like the motherfucker that was walking around with the fucking flamethrower. 
I, name, I have the movie. I forgot the name of it. You know, but yeah, no, I know, I know, I know this, I know this guy. Yeah, this dude has a string of movies, and then I found out why he kept making more of those movies because everybody said the movie, each movie he made tanked. But where he is, because he makes a movie in Germany, he gets a tax break from it, so he makes money back and more every time he makes a terrible movie. Yeah, that's what happens. You know, some people, some people know how to play the game if it's especially if it's direct video. <laughs> Man, if we knew this back in like 2005, you know how many terrible movies we could have made. <laughs> you know, okay, Rampage. That was the name of the movie. Yeah, that's probably the only movie of his that I actually liked. And then that movie, that movie was uh, that movie was some shit. I, I, I fuck yeah, with that. I seen Rampage. Yeah, I see because I seen Blood Rain. Um, in the name of the king, like yeah, he has a whole bunch of damn. <laughs> yeah, he fills in that gap we were talking about. <laughs> Yeah, in the name of the king too. Like, geez, yeah, he made a movie about Max Schmeling. Yeah, well, you got device. We got diversify your bonds. <laughs> well, he's also German, so right. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, without Mortal Kombat, we wouldn't get these. Videos. I mean, even right now with Sonic the Hedgehog, actually, of all movies being successful too. I mean, it all stems from that someone finally, hey, listen, like, hey, we need to stick to the, the material of the movie. You know, keep the core material and then alter and then just slightly alter it just to make it enjoyable. Like, and more importantly, more importantly, have actors and actresses who are like into doing the roles, right? And then if you're doing live action and it's even with cartoons too, make sure you don't switch it up. And that's and that's what I appreciate about Mortal about Mortal Kombat uh, Scorpion's Revenge. And that's why it's a classic. That's why if you come on TV and you're going through the channels. If it's on, it's like Rocky. You're going to watch it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If you don't, the Riz is going to show up and beat the shit out of you. (laughs) So, you know, so that's that's how I kind of look at it. As far as Scorpion's Revenge, like, damn, man, I give it a 10. Like, there was nothing, I couldn't find nothing wrong with it. Like, no, I agree. Yeah, no, it it was a 10. Because literally, like I said, it flowed. There weren't no slow spots. The animation was on point. The story, it kept to the story, you know, and. Yeah, it, it was it was a perfect perfect. It was like watching the the live action film, but in an updated way where they kind of gave you more of the Mortal Kombat universe, gave you more characters. So like mm-hmm. you know how the the first movie is like it sticks to Mortal Kombat one characters. Right. So they they're aware of the mistakes and they found ways to like take care of it. Well, either or or technology is finally caught up to what they want to do. To, to yeah. Cause now you, you know, because to to give you sto- Scorpion storyline and all that, like you, you know, they they give you um Quan Chi and to even in, to tell you about Quan Chi, they, you know, they even mention Chinook. Yeah, so. Quan Chi's a bitch. <laughs> you know, and then I mean, and they even have like Baraka in there. In, in it. Yeah, and Baraka they, they is a Motaro. classic. Mo- Motaro's in it. Motaro's definitely in there. Yep. Yeah, Motara, don't shoot a fireball at him. It's coming back at you. <laughs> so, so, yeah. That's like, what made it, you know, dope. It's like, so, I hope the new live-action reboot that they're going to do kind of takes from both the movie and the cartoon, like, and kind of give give an updated sense of it. Like, don't try to remake the movie Right. Yeah. I mean, well, one thing I just want the violence. I want the violence. I want now that we're in 2020. I I want my violence to be stylized, hardcore violence. Yeah, I, I need to see some John Wick level, like you yeah. know, I, 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 I want to see some... fighting, you know, Captain America type level, you know, act, you know, fighting action type shit. Yeah, you know, I want to see some decapitation. I want to see someone get uppercut into an acid bath. You know, so I want you know yeah. skulls removed from heads. Broken backs, broken ribs. I want to see. Yeah, that has to be done tastefully. It can't can't look cheesy. The effects, everything, got to be on point. You, you, you know, so because it, I, I, it's like you have everything there. You got two great examples of it. So you know, don't fuck it up. That's all I'm saying. Like, but <laughs> as far as uh, Scorpion's Revenge, yeah, that's just a fucking ten. Like, yeah. definitely recommend. Highly recommend. Like, see totally that. recommend it. You know. I can't give a number because I'm a stowaway, so I'll say a stowaway out of ten. Yes, and then but then once you once you watch it, you know, then you'll you'll definitely agree with us that you'll see why. Right. 
so it'll be as close to the games I play. Pretty much. <laughs> games and the first movie, like yeah, yeah, because I don't know, like I don't know if you guys have seen like the most recent Mortal Kombat. They go out of their way to do fatalities. You talking about the show? I haven't played. I played the one before the last one. The, like I think. Oh, X. X. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven decides to go to another level. To the point, I think the person who helped design the fatalities, he might be a possible like shooter. He <laughs> needs to be like. He needs help. He need, he 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 really needs someone to talk to. Man, man, he needs a friend. Need YouTube some videos now, <laughs> bro. You you have no idea how insane some of these fatalities go. Oh yeah, but no, I remember one time. What is actually cool about uh, Mortal Kombat 11, especially for what you guys might like, depending who, uh, which characters talk to each other, they make references to old games and movies too. As they oh, should. Man. Yeah, but you know, I, I I stay watching those YouTube reaction videos of like old people watching the fatalities in that video. Ah, uh, reaction channels are shit. <laughs> But no, those are funny to me though. That that one is funny to me. Like, to me, when I see a reaction video, I'm just like, why don't you just like get your friends to watch with you and just hear what they say instead of like watching another person like you don't know. <laughs> Either way, I don't know, man. Yeah. Niggas is weird, bro. <laughs> there um, you go. Yeah, but then like yeah, 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 movies, movies like internet, man. Like y'all, y'all, y'all make sure y'all see that shit. Like that's all I can say. You know. Fact. Yeah, I might have to go to. Uh, uh, First Admiral uh, Pat to figure out where to sail. Yes, you know. Yes, you know. I will enlighten you on the location of where to, you know, to to peruse, you know, to view. Which part of the multiverse, though? Was that? Which part of the multiverse should I go to? Kingdom <laughs> Come? Should I go to <laughs> to Endgame? You should go to the moon. <laughs> Uh, it was a nice little surprise type of movie like it just kind of came out of nowhere you know like you know wb kind of just bunched it with the the superman shit like and you know they both kind of just popped up so you want to know what i want to think because wb is kind of like very particular about being careful about their shit they forgot for a split second so the guys in mortal kombat is like yo let's run with this shit as quick as we can <laughs> grab what was this grab Daffy Duck as quickly as you can in that right. WB thing in that trailer that, that part of the trailer killed me where Daffy just got yanked <laughs> yep, oh, yep. So, so King P back um, yeah, so P what, yeah. what's your rating for the movie bro P he's talking to Quan Poppy <laughs> he must be busy fighting crime <laughs> or answering that phone. Oh, the damn murder she wrote phone. <laughs> murder she wrote. Murder she wrote. Murder she wrote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is too much 90s. He left. <laughs> I see. We're going to have to just wrap that up then. Uh, yeah. Cool. So yeah, no, we've come to the end of our show right now. So uh, PJ, do you have any final thoughts? Uh, only final thoughts I'll have is as somebody who has played the Mortal Kombat games more than more times than I should. As far as like uh, my two co say, it should be something worth watching, especially if you're not familiar with the series. Instead of like thinking it's like, well, I should say it's not. You should. It's still pure violence, but at least there's some kind of backstory, something to explain to you what's going on. So watch and see what they put together, because these are people who are putting as much effort as they can to let you understand what's going on, especially because it's leading up to the live action movie. Along with the previous topics that we talked about, because we always, no matter what it is, if it's actual boxes or anything going on in boxing, we talk about things that are currently happening, and we also are considering things that we care about you as well as ourselves, people who watch and care about the sport. So, as always, go to ringgangradio.com, follow Lauderdale boss Shutterworth, follow Pat Scorpio, Pat Scorpio, and myself, PJ, or you can just find my articles on ringgangradio.com. There you go. That was perfect. You know, that was a perfect advertisement for what we do. You know, I couldn't word it any better. <laughs> Where's my check? <laughs> we'll talk about that one later. <laughs> Ayo, LB, man, you have any final thoughts, bruh? Yeah, we're going to hang your check in the middle of the ring and you have to fight me and Pat for it. You think <laughs> that will stop me? 
Probably not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, fucking uh, you know, this ring gang, the army, navy, marines, all that shit. You know, we worldwide. You know, shout out to the whole squad. Uh, Rome gonna have some new music coming up. Um, Clan Arky just dropped his new beat tape. Lockdown Sessions Volume 1 Y'all make sure y'all check that out Like 19 Soulful beats Just samples amazing You know just been on that quarantine So you know he just been cooking up that that Soulful shit for y'all So The the link's on the website so y'all go to RingGameRadio.com And and y'all check that out Along with all the other fly shit We got out there you know, Shutterworth LB, a lot of that boss, you know, follow me um, on Instagram, Twitter, the Soul Wars, Shutterworth, you know how I do, Ring Gang. That's how we do, man. That's that's what it's all about. And, and yeah, you know, I, I have this, you know, pretty much the same thing that was uttered by both PJ and, and uh, LB. You know, like I said, Ring Gang, we, we try to bring you the shit that you want and need, you know, like I say, you know, because we that's all we do i mean we're boxing heads that's what we do we you know we do spectacular shit it's marvelous shit so i mean you just need to get on the train you know get on board with us you know what i'm saying we'll be going to the top uh but other than that you know we also i also want to say a quick rest in peace to the father of tony harrison ali salam um, who unfortunately passed away today from the insidious uh coronavirus um and uh you know, I know that he was a big factor in Tony's career. And then, you know, obviously, you know, leading him to Tony winning, you know, winning the Super Welterweight title uh, back in 2018. Uh, so, yeah, you know, condolences to Tony Harrison and his whole family. Um, but, yeah, you know, other than that, um, yeah, just stay tuned because, like I said, we always got some more stuff, too. I think I have a, I have a forgotten fade in me. Um all I need to do is just to make sure if I can find the video and uh, we are in business because I was thinking about it during one of my uh, my afternoon constitutionals after work. Um, yes, the you know, constitutional meaning walk <laughs> uh, and run. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. So for myself, you know, Pasco Pino, the New England representative, you know, for Shelly Wolf the God, LB, Go Artist, for PJ, the ref, and the fight architect, and now like you know the master writer and then for just describe not anything bigger than that <laughs> and then i'm the master writer shit. <laughs> see i told you <laughs> silly and then for king p who you know you know bodega p who know who That's the eternal battle of whoever shows up to that bodega yes exactly you know and unfortunately you know hopefully they upgrades his phone <laughs> so you know so you'll be around next time. <laughs> you know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, peace. <laughs>